In this video, I'm going to cover memory assignment for a virtual machine. Now for a virtual machine, we really have two options. The first is we can use a static amount of memory. So we just set an amount and that is allocated to the virtual machine when the virtual machine starts and is effectively reserved on the host. We can also enable dynamic memory. So when we enable dynamic memory, this value we have here becomes the amount of memory the virtual machine is allocated when it first starts up. But we can also specify a minimum amount of RAM and a maximum amount of RAM. So the minimum, obviously, is what its physical memory assigned can shrink to. So this can be less than what it starts with. The logic here is perhaps you have some workload or operating system that to start initially requires a certain amount of memory, but once it's actually started, it doesn't require as much. So it can actually be reclaimed by the balloon driver from the Hyper-V integration services. Additionally, we can have a maximum amount of RAM. So this is the default, which is a terabyte. So we don't, wouldn't normally leave this value, but this is the amount of memory that can be added to the virtual machine if it deems it necessary, i.e. the working set, the amount of memory being used by processes reaches a certain threshold. And that threshold is by default, we want a buffer of 20%, but we can change that. So this buffer is saying, look, I want to make sure there's always this amount extra memory assigned to the VM above that working set, above the amount that's being used by processes. Because what you don't want is for all of the memory to be totally consumed by processes and then start adding memory because it will be too late. Paging would start have already happened. So this enables the amount of memory to always stay above what's actually being used by a certain percentage. Additionally, in times of contention, I can say, well, what's the priority of the memory for this VM compared to other virtual machines? So if I gave it a low priority, then in times of memory contention, other VMs would get more memory than this one. So I can set this. Now to show this in action, I have a virtual machine here. And what we can see is I configured this with a starting amount of two gigabytes, minimum half a gigabyte, the maximum is four. And what I can see right now is it's actually been assigned basically 1.4 gigs. So it's actually shrunk from the amount. Now, if I actually go and look inside that operating system, so if I actually go and look at Task Manager, what we'll see is it still thinks it has two gigabytes because you can't really take memory away from a virtual machine. But what happens is that driver, that balloon driver, that kernel device driver, tells the OS, give me some memory. And that basically balloon driver inflates, consumes that memory, and then tells the hypervisor, hey, here's the memory blocks, you can take this back. Now you can't directly look at that, but there's this RAM map tool from SysInternals. Try the newer version. Okay, so what we can actually see is this driver locked, we can't get into detail, but it's consuming 666 megs, which is roughly the difference between two gigabytes and the amount that's actually allocated. So this is actually assigned it a little bit more since I logged on. But this virtual machine can actually grow up to four gigabytes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some memory pressure to this virtual machine. So I'm going to consume physical memory. Let me just let that run until I cancel it. So it's spawning off a bunch of threads. And what this is actually doing is it's putting it under pressure. And notice already it's sort of shot up. And if I look at Hyper-V, it's now assigned it that full amount. So it very quickly saw, hey, this is trying to use memory, use memory. And it's now in a warning state because the memory demand actually really wants this amount. So it saw and it allocated that additional memory because it had it available in the host. If I now go and cancel this and kill off these, now that memory will not be reclaimed straight away. But you can see now its demand has dropped right down. So now there's a huge amount of free memory because also 
in the background, it probably went and paged some things out. But what will happen over time, so if I look at my balloon driver and refresh, notice that driver locked basically went away because that balloon that had previously given memory back shrunk right down and effectively reclaimed that memory from Hyperbeam and gave it back to the operating system. But what we'll see is eventually a cleanup will actually happen. You can see it actually only needs this amount plus the 20%, so it should probably come in at around the 1500 mark. We'll see this assignment memory will drop and that balloon driver and that driver lot will actually go up again. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of time. So we now see it's assigned memory has dropped right down. So now if I go back to that operating system and refresh this, all of that memory is now assigned to the driver lock because that balloon driver took it and the hypervisor reclaimed it. Now note, the memory will always stay at four gig because you can never truly take memory away as far as the operating system is concerned. So it still thinks it has four gig, but out of that, a huge chunk of it is being consumed this really greedy kernel device driver. And that's the memory allocation. Hopefully that was useful. This concludes this brief video.